Hello Infocino lovers, Andrew Charles, Director, Commercial Government Enterprise for CompNow. I'm absolutely excited today to have uh, John Belladian with me. John, welcome to CompNow. Thanks, Chelsea. John's the um, Senior Vice President for Cradle Point for Asia Pacific, and I've known John for a very long time. You know, we, we work closely together in other roles. I'm absolutely delighted and excited to announce that CompNow has brought Cradle Point into the uh, technology pillars family that we have, that we bring to market as our newest vendor. And uh, I'm lucky enough to have John in town today, He's flown all the way in from Singapore, and we're going to have a chat about Cradle Point technologies and um, why CompNow has brought Cradle Point into its portfolio of tech. So, John, at a, at a high level, um, why did you join Cradle Point and, and, and where do you see the opportunities in the market for the channel today? So, I think that uh, Cradle Point is well poised as one of the leaders of our wireless connectivity. And as we see the world starting to move from 4G to 5G connectivity for enterprise solutions, I saw that as an opportunity to join a, a very rapidly growing and, and a being adopted by enterprise you know, type of technology and platform. So I found it very exciting, uh, the opportunities that lay ahead for us and the kind of innovations that we could deliver to, to enterprises and customers um, in that space. Yeah, now it's Ericsson Company. Um, so wireless is at the core of the technology. I've also noticed you built in some quite amazing cloud control uh, as part of uh, you know, the technology stack that you bring to market. What sort of verticals does Cradle Point play best in that you're noticing today? So we see a few different verticals that are, that are looking to adopt Cradle Point or are already adopting Cradle Point technology. The first one that we see a real fit for is uh, retail. Retailers especially who are trying to get time to market and, um, and bring up a, a location, quite often putting a fixed line into that um, a particular space can take three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. What we're able to do with the Cradle Point is enable what we call day one connectivity. By putting a SIM card into a device and sending it out to a location, uh, that customer is able to get connectivity within 15 minutes of that uh, device ar arriving into that location. And then later on, four or five weeks down the, line, down the track, when um, that wide connection becomes available, they're able to connect that in and the two connections are able to work simultaneously, providing maybe a wired first with a wireless failover mm -hmm. uh, or load balancing the two to provide additional connectivity. And so that becomes a great return on investment because you've got four or five weeks worth of revenue for that store already transacting with you know, point of sale transactions and things like that, uh, inventory updates. So they're able to really maximize the time um, from launch for that site mm -hmm. um, and then later on bring in levels of redundancy resiliency you know into their connectivity and manageability from day one and it's fair to say that you know retailers in this day and age they just can't afford to lose connectivity to you know a banking environment uh, a payment gateway um, you know I was in a, a, a shop the other day uh, you know a, a well-known chain and it was a total chaotic scene they couldn't process payments you know and it actually had the old credit card swiper out and I think you know, the 18 year old um, you know, store attendant that was trying to take payments literally had never seen one of these devices to, before. And you know, it's interesting, it's probably a bit of a segue, with, with all the cyber threats coming down the line to retailers in particular, um, to have that additional wireless capability you know, within a store um, just adds that extra level of security to, to the organisation, knowing that they'll be able to take payments as customers come into the store. No, that's exactly right. I think, um, you know, um, most, uh, I would say, you know, the younger generation, you know, they're used to double clicking a button on their phone yeah, and using that to, right. to make a payment, right? Yeah. And so pulling out an old credit card swiper, that is uh, a very archaic way of doing things. And, you know, offline transactions are very insecure and, and what we're able to do by having that constant connectivity, you're keeping the highest level of security for the transactions and maintaining, you know, things like PCI compliance, right, in terms of user mm. information. Audit trails. Yeah, and some of those higher end cradle points, they even have sort of firewall connectivity built into them, don't they, as well? That's right, we do. Uh, in all of our devices, uh, you know, we have uh, stateful inspection firewalls built in. Uh, we have uh, malware uh, detection tools uh, built in as well. We work with you know, the leading uh, technology companies in the security space um, to implement that. The other thing that we did recently was launch a new platform called NetCloud Exchange. NetCloud Exchange is a security platform at its core. And what it does is it takes an approach of a wireless first deployment um, and and a platform, which then enables us to deliver, you know, secure VPN connectivity. Yeah, wow. um, it then also gives us the ability to add other technologies like zero trust, 
ZTNA, for example. Yep. Uh, we're also able to add uh, SASE technologies. We recently acquired a company uh, that does provide that kind of technology and we're able to quickly think about how we can integrate that in because we have a, a scalable platform that allows for SaaS-based applications, security applications, um, that we can continue to add and evolve uh, and enhance the experience we deliver to our customers. Yeah, we recently had Tim Fitzgerald in from Fortinet talking about Secured Access Security Edge or SASE, uh, and it's great to hear that um, Cradlepoint are building in that capability to be able to connect into zero trust network access environments. Um, where, where are you seeing Cradlepoint taking this thirst for IoT solutions at the moment, John? So IoT poses a, a specific challenge to enterprise customers because in general, IoT devices are let's call them inherently insecure. Yeah. They don't have the platforms, the, the software uh, inbuilt um, with security as at the forefront of the consideration. So what we're able to do is actually take devices that might sit in, let's say, in a bank like a digital sign and put those on a completely self-enclosed network, potentially f um, with a physical firewall from existing devices um, and having them communicate with each other and maybe with a cloud platform that you know, the, the company that's managing that sign on behalf of the bank or the retailer uh, is able to then manage remotely. And so IoT is one of the key areas where um, a lot of our, our customers are adopting cradle points. Yeah, that's good their business. Yeah. And, and, and obviously you're in region, you get to travel around the whole of Asia. Can you tell me about some really interesting cradle point solutions that you've seen around on your travels that you think the Australian marketplace may decide to adopt? Um, so, you know, we've seen uh, a lot of really interesting um, use cases around you know, things like construction. Um, you know, we were, we were taking a look at the top 20 construction companies in Australia. We realized that I think 12 or 13 of them had all been uh, Cradle Point customers, are, are already Cradle Point customers. Yeah, wow. uh, and what they've been able to do is say, okay, if I go and I open a construction site, uh, I need connectivity on that site on the first day, yes. right? And I've got to, I'm going to build a small uh, trailer. I'm going to put that on the construction site, and I need the ability to uh, connect securely back into my corporate infrastructure, um, fill in, you know, work safety information, and get that, um, you know, logged in. And then what ends up happening is six weeks down the track, they move that trailer to another location on the same building site because they're they're evolving what they do in that location. And so you pick up the cradle point, you unplug it, you move it to another location within that site and you have instant connectivity and everything stays where it was. And so think about that as a, it's like a branch office, but it's moving around from location to location yeah, wow. and they've got that flexibility to go and take it um, wherever they want. And, and the other thing that we do is, you know, we can take uh, a corporate um, infrastructure connectivity out into places that you couldn't normally take it before. Yeah. So expanding a logistics and transport uh, company uh, and then moving the secure connectivity platform right out into transport vehicles, um, uh, small mobile, um, you know, forklifts and, and things like that inside a warehouse, and basically allowing for um, manageability of literally everything in that infrastructure from the branch office all the way through to vehicles and mobile yeah. devices. And, and it seems to be uh, a real thirst for that technology at the moment in the emergency services space. Um, where they just cannot lose connectivity, you know, to a particular dispatch system or a particular call system in case there's a, a, a real-time emergency with one of their members. Um, are you seeing that thirst for technology in the emergency services space throughout the rest of the region as well? We see that everywhere, actually. That is probably one of the, the key segments where we excel yeah. um, because we have a, a lot of experience from you know, the US market, European market, we're starting to see that now expand mm. uh, across Australia, New Zealand as well, where um, they require um, a robust connection. They require devices that are able to withstand extremes of, of temperature and vibration and yeah. things like, as soon as you take a connectivity device into a vehicle, becomes um, super critical that it can withstand all these kinds of extremes in temperature. And the other thing is, they need absolutely robust connectivity, right? They can't afford to have any downtime whatsoever. And so we've invested a lot of time into software development to ensure that when our devices are, are mobile and they're, they're moving at a fast pace, we've got the best possible connectivity and we're able to um, cater for all the different situations in terms of speeds and, and maneuver, maneuvers and things like that they're doing in a vehicle. 
uh, and we're fine tuning that with all of the experience that we have um, mm. with the deployments you know around the world. No, it's really really interesting to hear, John. Um, from a partnership perspective, um, you know, I look at Cradle Point Technology as the new volume product that that needs uh, an organisation uh, such as Comp Now to be able to assist in the growth of the brand. Um, what attracted you to, to Comp Now in relation to our size, capability, and logistics functionality? Uh, I think that you know working with Comp Now is going to be an absolute benefit for us. You know, you guys have got the coverage around the the country. You've got the ability to get devices, you know, to customers in a specific location with the logistics engine that you've been building out. Uh, I think that uh, there are a lot of customers that can benefit, you know, from Cradle Point technology, whether they're just looking for redundancy or resiliency in a particular location, mm -hmm. uh, in, somewhere in the country. I think that there are ways that we can, you know, deliver value together, you know, to customers, whether it's just, like I said, a simple uh, redundancy or failover solution, or looking at a complex deployment with, you know, hundreds of branch offices um, around the country. I think together we're able to cater for customers kind of small, medium and large. And so there's the value of us working together. No, that's awesome to hear. Last question, John. Sure. Um, what, what is one big bet a customer should have working with Cradle Point over the next 24 to 36 months? I think that the world is moving to 5G technology and every enterprise customer needs to be thinking about what their strategy is going to be around 5G. The telcos in the region are all enhancing their services to provide additional uh, capabilities and value uh, to, to customers in, in, within the region um, around 5G. And so working together with us, that's going to be the big bet, is how you transform your business to take advantage of this kind of technology. And starting now, it's going to get you, um, put you in a position, sorry, where you know, you're going to be able to take advantage of that when it arrives that's when, for them. Yeah. Great to hear, John. So guys, look, just remember, uh, the Cradle Point solution is on page 28 of the new CompNow commercial catalogue. So please jump in and have a look at that. There's also a, a scannable QR code there so you can look at more information on our website. John, absolute pleasure for you coming down Thanks today so and much. taking the time That's to come and, and see us. So, so guys, you know, as you know, CompNow provides custom IT built for your needs. If you'd like to know a little bit more, please get in touch with your local CompNow account manager or email us at info at compnow.com.au. Thanks guys and have a great day. Thank you.